Conflict restructures societal relations and it affects how civilians view the state and contribute to society. Without rebuilding social contracts, the risk of war and violence remains. The link between trust and conflict is a circular one. First, lack of trust on the state and lack of state legitimacy, it's going to create conflict many times. But secondly, the state many times also is part of the conflict. So the state is not only not protecting the population, but also sometimes they are attacking some groups of the population. And third, and very importantly so, when the conflict is on, the state is not able to have presence in many regions of the country. So they are not providing services such as education, such as health, and such as protection. Breaking this cycle between lack of trust and conflict goes through several stages. First, during the peace process, it is important to include all groups of society so they feel that peace is legitimate and the state is legitimate. Then it's very important that the state quickly provide the state services to the population and establish presence in the territory. So a state that provides education, health, protection, security and justice and allows the participation of the communities is going to be a state that is perceived as more legitimate. Democracy is important so that people feel they are part of the solution. If people don't feel that they can participate in state building and in providing state institutions, they won't feel the state is legitimate and they will not be contributing to state building. Improving the lives of people implies improving the economic conditions of people, the social conditions of people, and them feeling included in the society and part of the society. That's a complex task, but it can be reached.